Today I'm trialling another recipe in the Optimum 9200. Today's recipe will be creamy corn chowder and it's a vegan corn chowder. So no dairy or animal products in this one. I'll just go through the ingredients and also it's adapted again from blenditandmendit.com. So check out that fantastic website. Um, there's a lot of fantastic recipes there that I've been trying out. So I've not actually made this corn chowder before so it'll be a learning curve for us both. So here I have cut the corn off four large corn cobs. So this is two and a quarter cups of fresh corn, half a cup of raw cashews. I have two tablespoons of olive oil. I have a garlic clove, a teaspoon of salt and cracked pepper to taste. And in the Optimum 9200 I have two cups of water and the jug very helpfully has the cup measurements along the side of it so it's easy to measure out. So I'll put this together. I'm going to make this into a hot soup. It can be a raw soup, so um, unheated, or you can run the blender for about five minutes and it will be a hot soup. So let's see how we go. Okay, first off we'll start with the corn. Pour that into the blender. I've also reserved some corn for garnish for later. Okay, we'll put in our half a cup of raw cashews. We'll put in our two tablespoons of olive oil, our very large garlic clove, but they're not strong, a teaspoon of salt, and um, the cracked pepper to taste. I like a lot of cracked pepper. Okay. So then we're going to put on our lid. Press it down nicely. And I'm going to um, set this to high, and I'm going to do it for five minutes and it will come out, I've done other soups in, in this blender, it will come out hot and steamy, it will be lovely. Alright, the button's on so I've already turned it on, let's go. Okay, well the blender has been blending for five minutes. Not sure if you can see it in the video, but steam's coming out of the steam hole. So let's see how this turned out. Oh, not easy to do with one hand. Mm. Fantastic. All right, let's have a look. Oh, that looks lovely. It's thick and creamy. And we can garnish with some fresh corn. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Alright, so that is creamy corn chowder in the Optimum 9200 blender. That was so easy. Far out. <laughs> I guess that's uh, dinner tonight for the kids. Excellent. Alright. There you go. Give that one a go. And as I said, the recipe came from blenditandmendit.com. She's made a couple of adaptions to the recipe. I've made a couple of adaptions to the recipe. Do it to taste, of course. But yeah, that turned out really well and it's lovely and hot from the Optimum Blender.